Yo, what's poppin'? It's Jabari98, back once again for another TCG video, but a little bit of a different one this time, because the Genshin Impact 3.4 livestream happened a few days ago, and one of the things that they showed off in that livestream was a character that you see on screen right now, Beto. She's coming to the TCG game in the next patch update. Now, there is a lot of reasons why I'm excited for this besides the fact that Beidou is still one of my favorite characters in Genshin, but also because if she follows the current trend of characters having similar basically carbon copy movesets of their in-game movesets in the TCG game, Beidou's moveset could potentially be the most interesting one we've had so far. And I, I honestly, and I'd honestly go as far as to say Beto may be incredibly OP if she has a moveset similar to what she has in the main game of Genshin. Because while it's, you know, st pretty strong in the main game, I feel like in TCG, the way it could be translated in TCG could be very good. Let's get into it. So firstly, before I start talking about anything in particular, I just want to say that this is this video is basically going to be mostly speculation based on the current trend of how characters have been made in the TCG games so far. You know, these um, these theories that I'm talking about for Beto isn't based on like any leaks because I know that's like a massive like Fontaine leak or whatever that happened a few days ago. Uh, this ain't got nothing to do with that. This is just based on my own thoughts, my own opinions. So anyone who's like cautious about leaked information, um, you're, you're safe here, don't worry. Also, I don't want any of the uh, Genshin Impact um, ninjas coming after me. Seriously, please don't. <laughs> but anyways, one of the most interesting things about Beidou's kit in the main game is her elemental skill, the which is the uh, counter that she has. It basically, she uh, holds a stance, and while she's in that stance, any attacks that she takes will empower the counter attack that she does after a certain point in time, or after you like release the elemental skill button. And why am I discussing this? Because there's already a character, well, not a playable one anyways, that has a counter mechanic in their moveset already. It's the Animal Boxer. Um, yeah, the Animal Boxer in TCG, it's a, you know, an enemy uh, unit that you can run into while you're fighting against like the NPCs. It has a counter elemental skill, so it generates a shield for, for him, and then after two turns, uh, he deals a strike. Now, Beidou's counter elemental skill in TCG could function similar to this. Uh, she could make a shield, then if an enemy strikes her, she retaliates with a stronger attack. Otherwise, like, wh whatever counter she eventually does is, like, pretty middling. Like, I can imagine her counter doing only one damage if, if she's not attacked. But if she is attacked, it gains two damage like each time she's attacked while she's in that stance or, or, or something like that. That's just a theory I have. What, what could make her version of the counter skill even better is if it does function like that. As well as after she has a constellation, right? Where after she counters an attack, she gains elemental infusion. I wonder if that, that constellation could be like a like a like a talent card for her that would be a very interesting talent card i can definitely see that being a talent card for her her counter elemental skill could be pretty interesting but that's not the real reason i think she she's, could be op in tcg even though there's a lot of like unique defensive plays that you can do now have like beta go into like her counter stance with like a wolf's gravestone equipped on, on some weakened enemies pretty much daring them to attack her so that could incentivize the opponent to you know mind game the opponent to not attack that turn or that or even that round potentially out of fear of like how strong like Beto's like counter attack could, could be so yeah that could be pretty cool that that could be really cool Beidou's bur elemental burst, if it's translated into TCG exactly like how it's how it functions, like in a similar manner to how it functions in the main game, I feel like it could be one of the best electro elemental bursts in the entire game. Like, real talk. In the main game, Beidou's 
elemental burst is essentially just an elect if we if we bring it down if we break it down to like the essential basics right it's basically an electro version of sync show sync shows burst right where she her, her like electro dragons apply electro to a target after a character's like normal attack and that could basically mean that Beto could have a, a an electro version of what Sing Show's burst is in TCG right now. If they really wanted to just be that cookie cutter, like you know, simple, straight to the point route for her burst in, in TCG. But a part of me feels like they won't do that. Because if they do, if they do that, if if Beto comes into into TCG with a burst that's basically just Electro Sing Shell's burst, that could be disgusting. And it and it all depends on like whether it, it, it functions exactly like Sing Shell's burst, where it only it only procs for a certain number of normal attacks, or if it functions like your Mia's burst, where it lasts for a set number of rounds because if it's the latter instead of the former Beto's burst is the best one in the game but if it's the former it's still pretty strong why because of how electro reactions work in TCG so electro charged and quicken and superconduct and a lot of these like electro reactions are just super game changing they they either do they either enable the team to deal a lot of damage in a case of like dendro reactions they deal a lot of spread damage to the entire enemy team in the case of electro charged and superconduct or they just shuffle the and discombobulate the enemy team in the case of overload so so here's one case so like be, so being able to trigger any one of these reactions as easily as Sing Show triggers uh, Hydro reactions in TCG right now, I feel like could be fit, like really good. I could th I could think of a normal case right now. Like we all know how Ayaka Yomiyo functions, right? Well, how about Mona Beto? You charge up Beto's burst, switch to Mona, or I guess Barbara works too. I guess give Mona a whatever that marching hat artifact set is that gives her um, extra die every time she triggers an um, elemental reaction. Give her sacrificial fragments and a minty roll to uh, lessen her the cost of her normal attacks for the, the entire round. And congratulations, you can just spam Electro Charge on the enemy over and over and over and over again until like their entire team is crippled. And does it have, would this combination have like the raw, like, you know, one turn, like one unit clear kill power like Ayaka Yomiya does? Nah, it probably doesn't. But what it does have is just an, obs an obnoxious amount of spread damage. Like, where over time you can deal like, <laughs> because because Electro Charge deals two damage to the target, right? But it also deals one piercing damage to all surrounding targets. So if you can get off like, a, a typical Ayaka Yomiya combo can get off like five or like six normal attacks when they're set up properly. So if Mona can get that amount of normal attacks up with this combo, she can deal like close to 10 damage to like the main, her main target and like, five to six damage to the other two targets as well like it's not like it's not like the insane like combo potential like i could give me but it's still a really good combo one that i hope the um the uh devs in charge of tcg accounted for when making beto's burst and it and i feel like it's for that specific reason that i don't feel like they'll design beto's burst exactly like sing shows because of that possibility of that obnoxious amount of spread damage. Instead, I feel like her burst could just be like a strong hit of uh, Electro, and then there is that constellation again where she like generates an, uh, like a shield for the team. So that could be like a good combo where she like generates a shield after she's like a strong elemental burst that like deals a like a, 
like a decent amount of damage. So she can also use that shield that she gets from a burst to negate even more damage that she um, can potentially take while readying her um, counter elemental skill, and then just and then just be even more safe while she deals her um, retaliation damage. So that's a good combo that I can, that, that I can think of. That, that'd be like really solid. So I'd say keep an eye on Beto because she could be pretty game changing. There's also Klee, but I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not really that interested in Klee, so I'm not making a video on Klee. <laughs> but Beto is where it's at in my opinion, because Electro and Dendro are kind of running the game right now. Like if, it, if it's not Maku Gen if it's not Maku Genki Freeze, if it's not Ayaka Yumiya, it's Quicken right now. That's just absurd because of its like high damage potential. But I feel like with Beto, she could bring like a new dynamic to like, if she has a kit that's even remotely similar to how it functions in the main game, she could bring a, I guess, uh, a unique twist on the, like, on the ways you can like combo like different reactions together, as well as like counterplay against your opponent with her counter elemental skill. So that's why I'm, I'm interested in seeing Beto in TCG when version 3.4 comes out. So that's gonna do it for me for this video. Um, let me know what you guys think about Beto being added into uh, TCG, how she function and how she could function. Again, I didn't look into any like leaks because from like what little I saw, I know that Fontaine leak was absolutely insane. So I'm not gonna say nothing about that particularly. But I really, hope, I really do think that Beto could be very interest, a, a very interesting addition in TCG. But let me know what you guys think about Beto and Klee being added into TCG. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. If you didn't like the video, please leave a dislike and please comment down below why you didn't like the video. Because I really do take that feedback seriously. And until then, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.